I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. Don't know why he's on your shit list, but I've got no quarrel with him. I believe you do. But have yet to realize it, Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you unwittingly to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. I've many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, true adventure. An experience like no other, the fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. Olgi had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy. Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment, even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? 
I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Orgird owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Hmm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm -hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Olgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us, yet we won't know what they are until we see him. Fine. I'll go see Olgeard with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Look who's here! The witch you with a stick up his ass! What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a fiery pox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with you! Drank with you! Fought beside you! Did you kill me now? I'm one of you! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. 
What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Whoa. Nerves a little raw? Why? You death! Get the fuck out of here, freak! All I want is to know what exactly is going on here. Well, you're not gonna know! Shut up! I'll leave as soon as you tell me. Aren't you a thorny prick up the arse? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer. Happy? Now piss off. We've work to do. Wait. I know Rogeard wants him dead. Still don't know why, though. Just what the fuck is it to you, anyhow? Nothing, really. Just curious. Cocksucker violated our chivalric code. Just one penalty for that. Death. What is this row? Are you not done with it? My ears wither from the screams. Ah, Geralt. As you've returned, might I assume you've cleared the sewers? Or have you not been... Ah, you killed my father! Not I. You lie, Horson! That man killed him. Alone. Unbeknownst to me. Out of fury, for your father refused us hospitality. For this willful violation of the chivalry code, he was summarily executed himself. Anything else I might do for you? Take her away. Now, where were we? Really necessary, that whole show? Ah, show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little could hurt you. So you take wild risks, chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all, and all seems boring and monotonous. The tricks to plough through that moment. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. You know what this is? I cannot be certain, but I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything left of charred, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gone to road, did. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion. Geralt of Rivia. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. All geared once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. All geared grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. 
So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life and a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, would you rather not get involved? You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him until you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved. While I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. What he said about the prince, that true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa ate something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah. Uh. I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollered the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Could have told me the truth about the toad, having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Afiri mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bossoni. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out to my sight, wretch. Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him and show him the time of his life. My second request. Time seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. shouldn't be too hard. But the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. 
Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Hmm. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenfurt. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Olgird's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Ugh, never agreed to necromancy. Necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Sides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood? True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Everett blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The Von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. Wind's howling. <laughs> 